Welcome family. In today's knowledge, let's talk about how to unblock fallopian tubes using natural remedies. In healthy women, the fallopian tubes carry mature eggs from the ovaries to the uterus. In order for a woman to become pregnant, at least one of these tubes must remain open. When obstructions occur, sperm and egg cannot meet in the fallopian tubes, where fertilization typically takes place. Blocked fallopian tubes are the problem in 40% of infertile women. So recognizing the problem and treating it effectively is extremely important. Hearing that you have blocked fallopian tubes can be an upsetting and scary experience. This is one of the main causes for female infertility. So it's especially frustrating if you're trying to get pregnant. Your tubes can get blocked for all kinds of reasons including past STIs, injuries, or endometriosis. Luckily, you have options for unblocking your tubes and having a baby. If you're interested in trying natural treatments, unfortunately these don't have a high success rate. Your best bet is talking to your doctor for more options. In most cases, minor surgery can correct the problem. Unblock tubes using medical methods. Don't worry that natural treatments can't unblock your tubes. You still have many options and treatments available. While some treatments aren't invasive, the most common way to clear a blocked tube is with minor surgery. In most cases, you'll have to stay in the hospital for two to three days after the procedure and you'll need about four to six weeks to recover. After that, you should feel like your old self again. After this, your chances of conceiving are much better. Talk to your doctor about surgical options for clearing blocked tubes. Depending on your situation, they'll suggest one of these procedures. Try to open up your fallopian tubes with a pelvic massage. This is the one natural, non-invasive remedy that might help clear blocked tubes. One small study showed that 20 hours worth of professional massage over the course of a week showed some success in opening up blocked fallopian tubes. This isn't guaranteed to work, but it has worked for some women with fully or partially blocked tubes. You may want to try this before considering invasive surgery. Visit a specialized physical therapist for this treatment. A regular masseuse may not know the right procedure. Clear small blockages with a selective tubal cannulation. If the blockage is relatively minor and close to your uterus, then the surgeon will probably try a tubal cannulation. This is the least invasive type of surgery. Using only tiny incisions and a small wire, the surgeon can clear out the blockage and open your fallopian tube. This minor surgery might be all you need to correct the blockage. The recovery time after a tubal cannulation is shorter than other types of surgery. You'll probably only need two weeks before you're feeling normal again. Repair damage in the middle of the tube with a tubal reanastomosis. This is a common type of fallopian tube surgery and is often used if your tubes are blocked from scar tissue or disease. It works best if the blocked part is around the middle of the tubes. A surgeon will remove the damaged portion of the tubes, then attach the healthy tube parts. After recovering, you have a better chance of getting pregnant naturally. This is also the surgery you'd need if you had your tubes tied in the past. It reverses the procedure. Clear fluid buildup with a salpingostomy if you want to try IVF. Sometimes, fluid builds up at the ends of the fallopian tubes and blocks them. A salpingostomy opens a new path in the tube to bypass this blockage. It might help you conceive through IVF by allowing sperm to get around the fluid buildup. Unfortunately, this procedure is usually only a temporary fix. Scar tissue tends to build back up and block the tube again. A salpingostomy is usually used to make IVF more successful. If you want to conceive naturally, Ask your doctor if this is right for you. Increase your chances for IVF success with a salpingectomy. 
A different procedure, a salpingectomy, is more effective and popular for handling fluid buildup. A surgeon will remove the blocked part of the tube and connect the two healthy parts. This should get rid of the fluid blockage. Unfortunately, this procedure probably won't help you conceive naturally. It's most successful for women undergoing IVF. Remove scar tissue near the uterus with a fimbrioplasty. This is a more delicate procedure, and it's meant to clear a blockage very close to your uterus. A surgeon will remove scar tissue and rebuild the damaged ends of your fallopian tubes. This should clear the blockage. Fimbrioplasty should help you conceive naturally or through IVF. Speak to your doctor about your choices for having a baby. Natural methods to unblock fallopian tubes. If you want to try and unblock your tubes naturally, then you're definitely not alone. There are tons of home remedies that women try every day. Unfortunately, most of these remedies can't unblock tubes. However, they could support your fertility in other ways, which can help you get pregnant if you want to. If you do need to unblock your fallopian tubes, it's best to talk to your doctor about your options instead of relying on home remedies alone. Reduce stress to support your fertility. Stress can definitely affect your fertility level, and relieving stress could treat some forms of infertility. Unfortunately, there's no link between stress and blocked tubes, so reducing stress won't help you here. Reducing stress is still a great health choice, and can help boost your fertility in other ways. Having blocked tubes is probably a stressful experience on its own. If you need any help with the situation, don't hesitate to speak with a professional therapist or counselor. Boost your immunity with vitamin C. Vitamin C does support your immune system and could reduce some inflammation throughout your body. It might even treat some forms of infertility, but there's no evidence that getting more vitamin C in your diet helps unblock your fallopian tubes. Include garlic in your diet. Garlic is a folk remedy to increase fertility, and some say it can clear tube blockages. However, while it may possibly boost male fertility, there's no evidence that it benefits female fertility or helps unblock tubes. Spice your food with turmeric to fight inflammation. Turmeric contains curcumin, a proven anti-inflammatory compound. This may possibly be helpful for relieving some inflammatory conditions like arthritis. Unfortunately, it probably isn't enough to unblock your fallopian tubes, and no studies show that it can. Try Chinese herbal medicine to boost fertility. Mixtures from Chinese herbal medicine did boost female fertility in one study. Unfortunately, while it can support your fertility in other ways, it doesn't seem to unblock fallopian tubes. Quit smoking. If you smoke, then quitting is an excellent choice for your overall health. However, while quitting can support your health and fertility in different ways, it doesn't have any proven effect on blocked fallopian tubes. Smoking can still cause different types of infertility, so if you're trying to get pregnant, it's best to quit. Secondhand smoke is also dangerous, so don't let anyone smoke in your home either. Having blocked fallopian tubes can be a distressing experience. Unfortunately, there aren't many natural treatments that can help unblock tubes. Even the ones that might work aren't very successful. Luckily, you still have options. Minor surgery can clear the blockage and help you conceive. After recovering, talk to your doctor about your best options for having a baby. Having surgery to open your tubes could put you at a higher risk for an ectopic pregnancy, meaning a fetus could start developing outside your uterus. Tell your doctor as soon as you think you're pregnant so they can start monitoring you for this condition. I hope you find this helpful. Please subscribe for more interesting, evidence-based, educative and informative videos. Like and share this video.
Turn on your notification icon so you can be notified when next I drop a new video. I desire for you good health and long life. See you in my next video. Till then, stay safe and remain healthy. Peace.